Um, what I've decided was that because a lot of uh, people who uh, purchase uh, Westies have no idea how to get them groomed and they end up taking them to the local pet shop or to the local groomer who takes and clips their hair off and um, what that does, it creates a soft and oily coat which is not as healthy for the Westies. Westies, uh, in actuality, most terriers need to have the air act, the hair on their body actually hand stripped in order to maintain healthy hair and healthy skin. What happens is when you do hand stripping, the uh, hair will go in layers. Uh, it will regenerate new hair each time that you uh, do the hand stripping so that after four or five hand strippings done um, two weeks apart, your, your puppy will have uh, a complete color coat, new coat of coarsed hair. So I'm going to show you a few things. Now, the hand stripping tools that you require is a little hand stripper here that runs you $20, a brush that you can get for probably five or less, a pair of thinning shears. You want a fairly good pair of thinning shears, and they will run you about $50 for a fairly good pair of thinning shears. Then you're going to want a pair of scissors, a standard pair with a slight curve on it. I don't know if you can see that in the, in the uh, thing, but it has a slight curve, and um, that um, allows you to clip on the contours of the body and the ear and stuff like that there. So you do a little bit of clipping. Um, then you want to have a set of toenail clippers. Uh, this is a nice set of toenail clippers. Uh, it's light, it's easy to handle, and it has a little clip on the side here that limits the amount that you can clip. However, on the younger dogs and on the Westies, I really don't recommend using the clip. I recommend you use your eyes and just hold the foot firmly when you uh, do it. I'll show you how to do that after. Then you're going to want a comb and chalk. Now the idea for chalk is a powdered chalk. Um, it's just that you put it on the on the coarse coat, and what it does when you're stripping, it gives you the ability to take hold of uh, the hair and pull it out. Now when you're pulling the hair out, you just remove a very small portion at a time. Now this puppy has not been, sorry, this puppy has been done once. So this is the second time this puppy has been will be hand stripped. Um, as you can see, if I brush the hair backwards, you'll see all kinds of hairs that stand up. And they're slightly longer than the other hair. And what we're going to do is we're going to hand strip some of that once we put the chalk on it. So I'm going to put a little bit of chalk on it, and I'll just rub it over the body, just like that. Pretend you're cooking. You know how they say a dash of salt? Well, this is your dash of salt on the dog. Okay. So now the hair is not near as slippery. Okay? So you put the cover back on. You don't want to spill it. It's a mess. Um, if you're grooming, it's nice to have a, a cloth down underneath the dog. Gives it good footing. Plus, it will take and um, the chalk that's gone there is not going to be a mess all over the place. <coughs> so, what I did was I roughed up the body and then I take a very small amount of hair. The hair that's sticking up. And then I start up near the neck. And I take hold of the, hair, the, the, the skin. See, I take a handful of skin. Well, I'll take a handful of skin, and then I'll just... Now, she's going to yap because it's the neck that they don't like. Ah, ah, ah. But after they get used to this, and they do get used to it, So if the hair lays naturally this way, now she's, like I say, we don't take a lot of hair. I'm just taking the longer hair off. But you can see, you don't need to take a lot of hair. But she's going to do this four times, okay? Now, once the puppy's been done a couple of times, they will enjoy this, actually. And they will. Hey. As you can, you'll see 
on the, what I do is I strip all the way down the thing, the body, going in line with the, the tail, okay, right to the tail. Then I'll start and I'll come down each side and I'll just come down to here on the dog, on the puppy, okay? That's all I'm going to strip is down to there. And you're not cooperating today. I had a little mail on yesterday and um, the mail just after the first time. And that was its first time. It did not mind it at all. This little female is um, just being, saying, hey, I don't like this and you're not doing it to me. Um, but you can see she's not crying, crying. She's just saying, don't do that to me. Um, sort of like uh, if you take them out for a walk the first time, they don't like you to take them for the walk. They like, they like to uh, go and play somewhere else. They don't want to do what you want to do. And you just have to force it a little bit or encourage them to do it. But it only takes a few minutes to do the hair on the body that you really want to do. Okay. It's not a lot of hair, like I say, but that's um, all baby puppy hair that's coming off now. So, do it just give it a little brushing, see how she looks. And she does look quite nicely with having just that much time. I mean, I believe that's less than five minutes of grooming on this puppy so far. Now, what else do we want to do? We want to take and trim hair around the ears and inside the ears. That's where I use the thinning shears quite a bit. Um, it allows me to clip the hair by short little snips and um, I cut the hair off inside the ear and then I go along the ear. I just make little short actions with the brushes or the scissors and um, I want to be careful not to get too close, but uh, if you hold it right, your fingers right close to the end of the skin, and then you use your, your one finger to, to guide it, you will just clip away. And if the dog moves its head, if you're holding it, the ear itself, you never have to worry about clipping the, the ear, okay? So, one ear done. Only takes a minute, like I say. And here's a little more hair on the planet just to clip off the inside. And we will You know, they talk a lot about Westies having uh, a lot of skin problems and um, the skin problems a lot of them are associated with them not being clipped. Rest of them are a lot of them are associated with them not their food. Their their uh, Westies and Jogs in general do not really like grains in their food, and um, some reason or another, the manufacturers, most manufacturers of uh, food, dog foods, because it's cheap, like to add corn and grain and rice into a dog's food, and through thousands and probably millions of years, um, the canines uh, naturally have never, never eaten rice or grain or corn. It's just not in their diet. So um, what happens is we decide that we can feed them that. And you get away with feeding cattle grain and stuff like that there too. And, but the dogs just seems to be a problem, it, but it's a cheap way of feeding and um, we end up paying large amounts of money to bigger industries to uh, for them to make profits on their, uh, see, her years have come up nicely and uh, like I say that was 
another couple of minutes that we do. And you don't have to put a dog, um, you know, a young puppy, you don't have to do it all at once. But because this is a video, we're, we're doing it all at once. Next thing is, clip the nails. Now, with the nails, you just want to take a tiny little wee bit. It's like, hold on, less than, it's just a sixteenth of an inch. The pieces will be so small that you will not even barely see them. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a little wee piece of hair or, or nail on there, and that's as much as we're taking off. We don't want the dog, two things we don't want to happen with the puppy. We do not want to clip it back far enough so that you injure the dog and you got it bleeding all over the place. And by not clipping back far, the, if you do it regularly, you don't have to clip back far, the dog will not put up an awful fuss as it gets older. Okay? So, um, okay, it's a... Uh, That's one. Come here, one more foot. And I uh, pull the hair back a little bit each time I'm doing it uh, to expose so I can see it. And then uh, I just give it a very light little. And they're done. All of them are done. There you go. Now we remove the dew claws on our Westies when we're so there's no dew claw to do. So if you're wondering why it's be done. The, new call. the next thing we do is we look at the tail. Now, do we want the Westies will tend to grow a big, thick tail um, when they're uh, as they get older. So I just take the thinning shears and I just go. See, I'm not. Remember this when you're doing hair too. It's hair. It grows back in, and um, there we go. One little puppy has been. Tail's done, body's been done, legs look good. I want to just take two seconds and grip up the butt. Now, I like to use the sending chairs for the butt because I don't want to, again, I don't want to cut any flesh back there. And um, again, it just takes a matter of a couple minutes back here. And if you look, a nice clean tail. So that when they have their poo, you don't have poo stuck to their back end and stuff like that there, okay? So here we have one little puppy, all groomed, all ready to take out and shell, okay? I didn't do the face. Um, there's not enough hair on the face yet to do, but as they get older, I won't pull the hair on the head. I generally, because uh, I generally just uh, take these shears and I'll just clip off the extended long hairs. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you.